All right, fellas, two pair. Two pair, Jax. A full. Oh. Three aces, baby. Ah, man. All right, fellas, count me out of this one. We got a show to do, and I already took your money. <laughs> well, welcome to SAX TV. I'm your host, Rich DePasso. I'll be taking you through the next 30 minutes of the only real winter sports program that shows people landing. And what'd you think of that Zupa crash? Well, I hope you stay tuned. We got a lot more of that coming up. But right now, I want to introduce you to the rest of the SDX crew. I got my man Jeff over here. We got Neil Burton. Yes, that's my real name. No, I'm not Ken the Jake. And we got my man John, the winningest man in poker. Paid. Coming up, we're going to be talking to local extreme skier Matt Belleville, who was tearing it up doing the endless winter thing down in New Zealand. We're also going to stop off at the Big Hit, one of Breck's premier snowboarding shops. Check out all the new equipment, everything else that's going on for the 98-99 season. We're also going to show you what was going on in the off-season in any skiing and snowboarding town. So stay tuned, we got to get out of here, there's a storm coming. Hey, what's up? You know, summertime is pretty tough for people who are hooked on winter sports. You know, see these slopes over here? This thing is supposed to be filled with snow. But instead, you know, we got our buddy Neil already at the top of Peak 8 seeing what's going on. So what's up, Neil? Not much, man. Just kind of hanging out, if you know what I mean. Yeah, August isn't exactly like February, is it, man? No, not really, but while I'm up here, I've got my gear with me, so I was just waiting for it to snow a little bit, and then I was going to take a few runs. We got a lot of other things going on in the summertime. We've got the fourth annual Breckenridge Oktoberfest. Right now, we're going to show you our buddy Ryan just ripping it up on his mountain bike, trying to keep his mind off that zero inch bait. This is Rich. We're hanging out at the Oktoberfest here in Breckenridge. Kind of the town known for its parties and all its fun. We're going to go downstairs and check out all the strange, interesting characters going on at the beer festival. We've got our buddy Jeff down there already checking out the scene. So let's see what's going on with him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful day today. And we have the Oktoberfest here today at Breckenridge, Colorado. And we have SCX TV here tonight. How y'all doing today? Good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, how many beers you guys knocked back so far? Too many to count. This is just one. No, this is two. Uh, three. This is about my fourth beer. Fifth beer right here. Yeah. Getting yeah. Started. Just getting started. Until when? When does this end? Until when does it end? Until I crawl. Until <laughs> uh, so I crawl back to bail. When they won't serve me anymore is when I stop drinking. Until the sun sets. <laughs> And geez, it's only nine o'clock in the morning, so you guys got a little way to go, right? Let me ask you, who's your uh, who's your favorite German? Favorite German? David Hasselhoff. My favorite German. German? Yeah. Like beer wise or like My mother. Mr. Schnitzel. <laughs> Mr. Schnitzel. <laughs> Say something in German for me. And that means? Speed limit sign. This is good food, folks. Come on in anytime. My name's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys gonna be doing all winter long? 
skiing. Skiing, definitely. Hopefully. Is there another yeah. choice? Right. Every day. This is going to be the Snowboard season. Snowboard going big. This will be the season this going year. Going big. And what about wintertime? What's going on? Uh, snow. Snow, you ride? Bad snow, yes. I get my swerve on. No, nah, I don't just ride, I get my swerve on. <laughs> so you guys go through the pipe and uh, hassle all the borders? Yeah, I ski through the pipe. Uh, what's the big hit? The pipe? Oh, the pipe. That's definitely where it's at. So what's your favorite trick? Um, I just learned a triple, double twist spread. Her big trick is flashing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be riding Keystone at night mainly, but uh, when I get a day off, a powder day, I'll be here at the mountain. Correct. Sweet. Now, Keystone at night, it's what, like? 48,000 degrees below zero, a little bit less. But see, they have the Doobie Dome. The, the Doobie Dome? What's going on there? Uh, well, it's the gondola. And that, <laughs> it takes you up really nice and high on the mountain. Fantastic. How high does it get you? Um, more high than words can actually <laughs> comprehend to be descriptive. <laughs> What's your favorite show? SCX TV! Do you what? want SCX or sex? SCX. SO! Oh, yeah, there's somebody else watching. SEX. No, SEX. Look what's on your mind, young lady. Take three. SEX TV. 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 Okay, hey, what's up? We're back. We just had a rad time at the Oktoberfest here in Breckenridge. Right now, we're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, Neil. Hey, what's, what's up, going buddy? On? Oh, not much. I just made a few runs. Nice. We've got about 69 vertical feet. About 420 core shots, but other than that, everything's okay. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you though, not everyone handles this summer like Neil and Ryan. Coming up, we're going to be talking to Matt Belleville, who just got back from New Zealand in an extreme skiing competition. So we'll be right back. Hi there, Jeff again. We're here at Fajitas kicking with the posse. Woo! And we're here to talk to a good buddy of ours, local extreme skier Matt Belleville. People, I want you to remember this face right here. Okay, this is yeah. the face of extreme. Matt, how you doing? Good, good. Now, good. just for background, Matt has actually been in the top 20 of extreme skiers, nationally ranked for the past three years. Is this true? Uh, world ranked. World ranked. Here we go. I'm so clueless. Yeah. Now, Matt here says that uh, he's got the absolute best solution for the Summer Jones. And what is that, Matt? That is, uh, once the stop, snow stops flying, you jump on a 13-hour flight down to New Zealand and make turns all summer long. So now, you went down to New Zealand, what were you doing down there? I uh, didn't get enough days of skiing in, I had to go get some more turns. Yeah, and uh, how many turns did you get? Um, got close to 300 days in. Yeah, I went down for some competitions and uh, got a job teaching skiing down there. So nice. for some of the bills. Nice, what competitions were you doing? I uh, did uh, King of the Mountain um, and uh, the New Zealand Extreme Skiing Championships. So you went to Gadrona? And yeah. how was it down there? It was great. Yeah, um, yeah. we had some good competition, good people. Um, Jeff Small was there, um, Todd Wendell. Some of the girls were pretty strong down there too. Was there any one particular one particular move that you remember that was just the best? Um, well, right before I crashed, I, I, I knew that I wanted to go into this spot. I was afraid to go into it in years past. Um, and I tucked myself into going in there and practicing and I went in and skied it once and or a couple three times and everything went fine. Then uh, competition came around. More people tried it and knocked some of the snow off. And when I came to my line, there was rocks instead of dirt. And, uh, <laughs> That's there, always the way to snow. go. Yeah. I right, tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to go check out some really, really hot footage of Matt uh, skiing down at Cadrona. And we'll be back and we'll see if I can whoop it. People, he is good at that too. Well, you got any big competitions coming up this winter and everybody should check out? Yeah, it should get down to Crystal Butte. It's fun for everybody. Everybody can go check it out. It's some pretty intense stuff. Okay, well, I know we're going to be there. We're going to be hanging out with Matt all winter long. Yeah. Matt, thanks for your time. Appreciate yeah. it. Have a good one. I tell you what, Rich is going to be talking to Chris and Larkin over at the Big Head about all the new equipment coming out this winter. We'll be back with you in a quick. Moving, 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 mo
Texas. How you doing? Welcome back to SCX TV. We're hanging out here with Chris and Larkin Ferris. Uh, they're the owners and operators of the big hit snowboard and skate shop here in Breckenridge, Colorado. How you doing, guys? Good. How's it going, Rich? Oh, not too bad. Thanks for letting me come by. All right. We're glad to have you. All right. Um, listen, we're going to go take a look around the whole shop and uh, look at the new equipment, all the new gear that's come in, and uh, see what's going on for the 98 and 99 season. But I wanted to ask you guys, do you think we're going to have a real good epic winter this year? We're going to be following El Nino from last year with La Nina, which is the sister of El Nino. She's supposed to bring a lot more snow to us this year. It's going to be epic for sure. Come out and visit us. So let's go check out all the equipment that's in the store and see what's going on. All right, now we're over here in the uh, clothing section of the big hit. It looks like you guys have an awful lot of girls' clothing, guys' clothing, you know, and like I noticed in a lot of snowboard shops, it's just a lot of guys and maybe just a rack of girls' stuff. It's, that's all because of you, isn't it, It's huh? all because of me, absolutely. And um, our numbers are growing with the women in snowboarding. We're really trying to cater to that, and um, every guy that comes in has got a girl with him, so we got to service her, too. There you go. See, and now I have to have a girl with me now soon. Absolutely. Where's your girl? <laughs> I don't know. I can't have to find her. But, uh, yeah, is there anything special like that you guys really carry for girls that a lot of snowboard shops don't have or anything in particular? Well, one thing we've got, um, Breckenridge is a really cold place. It's really windy. We've got a lot of great, really burly women's snowboard clothing. Huh. Um, this jacket is from Special Blend, and it's uh, an insulated jacket, really nice. It's got the removable powder skirt. Mm -hmm. So this year we're going to hopefully have a lot of powder, be zipping that thing in and out a lot. Right on. So you think definitely they're going to start growing. There's going to be a lot more women out in the mountains. Oh, a lot more women. Um, when I first started six years ago, I was probably one of the only women out there. And uh, now they're just there's a brigade of them. We're That's running. excellent. We need to keep it, keep ourselves occupied out in those mountains, don't you think? We're gonna make oh. the boys proud and give them a run <laughs> for their money too. Do you guys, do you have anything good for the backcountry besides like the real warm gear? We do. We carry all the backcountry accessories. We have avalanche transceivers, probe poles, shovels, packs, anything you can need, helmets to go out in the backcountry. Right on. So I'm fully protected then. Uh. Yes, you are. I got a question now. If I'm taking my board out there and I nail a rock or pull out a rail, can you do something for me? I can do something. We uh, purchased a brand new GrindRite 1800 STXL snowboard grinder. There's nothing we can't fix. Right. It'll keep you the fastest. Yeah, right on. Let's go check it out. Okay. All right, so Chris, this is the Zupa grinder, huh? The Zupa. <laughs> There's not much you can't do with this thing, you know. Um, what do you what do you really try to do with this, as as far as snowboards, tunes, and etc. Well, aside from snowboard tunes, what we're trying to do is get everybody in Summit County and Breckenridge and the surrounding Rocky Mountains be faster than everybody else to uh, pump higher off the half pipe walls right to get big air and, and take first place. By the way, you know, I was looking at all the other gear you got. Um, Anything really, really good that people haven't seen that, you know, you got to check out and let everyone, you know, kind of know about it? Well, we do have a few unique things here to show you that you're not going to find elsewhere. All right, let's go check it out, man. Let's go check it out. Cool. Well, Chris, when you said you had things that people really haven't seen before, you weren't lying. What do you got going on over here? Well, we've got some things like uh, sidewalk surfers, open wheel models like this one. We've got your more typical stand-up downhill models. And for those of you who don't want to stand up and want to lay down, we've got <laughs> Land Luges. This one's like uh, Biker Sherlock's X Games. He won a gold medal there. Cool. Also, we have mountain boards for those of you who want to go off-road. Now, when you're sitting there and you're riding on all these things, do you kind of tear up sneakers, or what's going on with that? Well, fortunately, you do tear up sneakers, and uh, we have a pretty good selection of those. Some DCs, Actions, S, Etnies, America, Audio, Globe, and probably a couple more brands I didn't name. Wow. Well, as you guys can see, this store absolutely has anything you need. Summertime, winter, it doesn't matter. So make sure you come and check these guys out. They're located here in Breckenridge, right off Main Street in Lincoln. Chris, thanks a lot, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Larkin, thanks a lot. Okay, guys, now we're going to go back and check out what we got from the vault. See ya. Well, thanks for watching SCX TV. Next time you see us, we'll be playing on a 100-inch bass. So until then, take care and think snow.